The RELIS of ecosystem is a, is a way to classify the risk of collapse of ecosystems. So what we do is that we define a map of ecosystems of, of a particular place. It could be the world, it could be a, a, a country. And then we measure the likelihood of those ecosystems collapsing. And collapsing is a, a term that is similar to extinction for species, which is a complete sort of loss of major function or, or the area. So once an ecosystem has collapsed, it is very, very unlikely that it will ever recover. Yeah, we see the red list of ecosystems as a complement to a red list of species. Species express are one way to express threat to biodiversity, and loss of ecosystems is another way to express. Nowadays, there's a lot of interest in ecosystem services and the, the interaction between humans and ecosystems. And this is a way to measure that relationship, how, how well we're doing at managing and using the ecosystems and allowing them to continue providing these services. Anyone interested in knowing uh, what's the likelihood of their ecosystem around them to disappear or to collapse over time? We envision uh, that will be used by policymakers and by people interested in, in land use change and land cover change. We also think that it will be used by, at, at local levels, people interested in, in organizing the development of municipalities or states. We think that they have lots of interest in, in scientists who are studying the relationship between humans and the different drivers of land cover change. So I think we ha they have lots of possible uh, uh, audiences. At the moment, we have uh, completed full assessments only of Venezuela, the, in, in South America. Uh, some colleagues in New Zealand applied the categories and criteria to ecosystems there. Some colleagues in China did that as well, but they're not a, a full assessment of all ecosystems of those countries. We are currently beginning the assessment of all the American continent, from Alaska to Patagonia, so North, North America, Central America, and Central America. And we'll have assessments, of also detailed assessments, of Costa Rica, Colombia, and Chile within there. We're beginning uh, to talk about Brazil. We have some interest in Europe, in Australia, and some parts in Africa. What we aim to do is gradually expand to different big regions of the world and also the, uh, the marine ecosystems. So hopefully not too slowly, we'll be able to be adding these big pieces so then about 15 years or 10 years, we can have a global integration of all the data. Yes, by the end of, we have set by 2025, the target of having the whole world assessed, all terrestrial, freshwater, marine, and uh, subterranean ecosystems. By 2020, to be able to inform the HE targets, we will have an, whatever information we have available by then, we will package it to document progress towards achievement of the targets. And um, if, if, we were possible, if, we, if it was possible for us to secure sufficient funding quicker than that, we might be able to finish before. But we think that at the rate that we're going, 2025 is a reasonable expectation.